How you doing out there? My name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Crystal H Technology Projection Screens using Smart Technology Gain. What makes our screen paint different than any other screen paint on the market? Well, basically, we have tons of video demonstrations, insane demonstrations, backing up what our screens can do. Now, one of the things our screens can do is the fact that they have a thing called Smart Technology Gain that allows the screen to absorb tons of ambient light and still maintain a beautiful bright picture. You see some demonstrations where people have the environment dark. I had one YouTuber once say, um, what is the point of them hitting the screen with all those lights? Well, when you're dealing with companies and corporations that are basically buying your screen paint by the gallon, they want a screen paint that they can paint in their office in well-lit environment that's going to stand up to all that ambient light. And when you got 24 to 2200 watts of light nailing your screen, well, that's a lot of proof right there that our screens can do what they say they can do. All right, now, the other thing is too, a lot of people like about our screens is the fact that they're very easy to do. You don't have to do the robot formation. Actually, when we're doing a demonstration downstairs, we're painting the screen downstairs after this little, um, this demonstration right here. On top of that, it's not hard to do to paint and apply our screens. Now, if you look at this right here, this is the big boy screen, this is the big 180. The price of this is about $554. It does come with LED lights, it comes with the uh, roll kit, it comes with everything you need to actually get this up and going. So it is freaking fantastic. And just to add real quick, they come with the surface, which means if you can't figure out what you wanna paint your screen on, well it comes with a surface that's nine feet high, 12 feet across. Our 100 inch screens come, well, actually one quartz, come with a surface of four feet high, 13 feet long and then the uh, two quart kits that paid up to 120 to 150 they uh, paint they have a surface size that is going to be 75 inches high by 12 feet um, long now you're probably curious why are the screens so long but well, that gives you the option to choose your own ratio size you will not pay extra for that so you can do 4.3 16.9 16.10 235.1 or 239.1 Sorry, 240 or 249 for one. Ooh, a little fast on that one. Kind of lost myself in that. The other thing what people like about our screens is we don't do that 1.1 white gain comparison against another white projection screen. It's like when you compare a gray screen to a white screen, it's like having a race with a Lamborghini and a pedal bike. So if you know what I'm talking about, the gray screen is always going to be more superior. So let me show you the advantage points of having our screens. We have the Supernova DMP. Mind you, these are the Infinity and Blade samples. We have by Stewart Screen to Firehawk G4. We have, I think this should be Supernova. Yep, there you go. Supernova right there. Supernova right there. Okay, we have the Elite Dark Star 9. You know, I have people have the Elite screen, which is I think it's a white screen, a 1.1 1 .1 or, or 1 1.3, I don't know, white. it's a white screen. Trust me, this is way more superior than that screen. Uh, this is the Cinema uh, Gray 5D by Lead Screens. This is made by a company called Dapper. Never heard of Dapper until I went on this website and I was looking for the top 10 uh, projection screens to test against our screens and they popped up, so uh, they're very good. Um, over here, okay, sorry, it's wrong, flipped over. By Seymour AV, we have their AV 1.1. Uh, 1.2, no, it's 1.2, right, 1.2. All right, so there we got our, we got the top screens up here. Now let's talk about what we have over here. We have, uh, these are Seymour AV. Boom, showing that they already are. This is made by Dapper. For those of you who've never heard of the company before, or Daper, if I'm getting a Daper or a Dapper, I'm sorry if I'm getting that wrong, I apologize. So this is their sample sheet right there. Um, let's come over here real quick and grab this. We have the Supernova. Uh, and then over here, we have to make sure to show you that the screens are legit and they are what they are. We have the, um, let me get that right. There we go, Stuart, right there. All right, so price-wise, you're talking about a lot of money. Just for 100 inch alone, we're talking about Supernova alone, it's gonna cost you three to $4,000. Even the Dark Star 9, you're talking about $2,000 to $3,000. A lot of these screens about seventeen, dollars maybe $1,300 and up just for 116 by 9. And when you consider the fact that the big 180 by the Crystal Wish Technology screen, for that screen paint, it's only going to cost you $554. You do the math on that one. Okay, just to let you know, our screens can be used with short throw and long throw projectors. doesn't make a difference of the color of your walls. White walls reflect more light. doesn't make a difference where you set your projector. You don't have to be in line with the screen, and our screens have fantastic angle gain capability. All right, so let's get this started, and then I gotta go downstairs and paint a screen for you guys. So we'll stand right in front of this. Cause I had somebody once say, it's not fair, you're doing these demonstrations against these screens, and you're not standing in front of it because screens have a narrow viewing angle. Well, here we go.
So we're going to do some of this. I'm not going to do the whole video, just to give you a good idea of exactly how superior our screens are on the market. Look at this. So instead of you going out and spending $3,000 or spending like $1,300, let's go back to $1,300 and up for a projection screen, you can do this with the Crystal Edge for pretty much next to nothing. See, we got all the lights on, some kitchen light hitting the screen, but the kitchen lights hitting the screen. How fantastic this looks. Now, this is where I explained to you guys about when it comes to projection screens, they have something called oversaturation of contrast levels. This is where the screen basically produces so much of a heavy contrast level that when it comes to pure natural colors, the screen turns dark. And this is what happens. Now, let's hit that angle gain. Look at this. When I'm at an angle, if I'm watching the screen from here, this is what I'm getting. Well, I feel sorry for you right now. If you paid $3,000 or $4,000 for a projection screen, you're watching this video. But, you know, hey, there's always eBay. I'm sorry, that's a bad joke right there. But it's true, come on. I mean, if I had a $4,000 screen and I saw this, I'd be kind of ticked right now. Okay. I'm going to walk in front of the projector, so just warning you. Woohoo! All right, so let's come over here for a minute. Now we're in the kitchen, and this is my view. Now, if I'm in the kitchen, I'm watching my screen. This is what I'm getting from my screen. All the lights on. That's that smart technology game kicking in, people. Let's go over and hit the extreme angle game. Just kiss the screen with the camera. There we go. Come back out. Any angle I stand, my screen looks superior. stand directly in front of it. Okay, enough of that. I'm gonna pause it right there. All right, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a trot downstairs. Let's get downstairs real quick. Do, 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 do. So now we're downstairs. We're in my work area right now. And we are looking at, and I got some crap all over my hands. We are looking at my uh, my work area. Sorry about that. Here's the camera. There's the screen. Now, this is the screen I just did yesterday. I just resurfaced it. And we actually put the new surface on it right there. And there's my screen right there. And there is the Crystal Age technology right there. Screen right there. Screen right there. Right there. There's right there. So, you know, for some people, look at this and go, oh, no, no, no. I can make this. this I know how to make this. Yeah. Well, you seen that demonstration out there where we just blew all the screens out in one hit? Yeah, that's the difference between my screen and what's actually out there on the market right now. And mind you, um, uh, my screens are designed or encoded. This is a 64 chemical combination. Just want to tell you that, you know, if you're out there thinking that it's that easy, it's not. It really isn't. All right, so get in here, and sometimes you might get some sp um, some crap on your paint from the roller. Because sometimes the rollers basically will give off a little fuzz, and you can just go in there and just basically just go over. Sorry if you're looking at my socks, and my socks are disgusting looking. I do apologize for that, or do I? All right, so I'll show you how easy to paint this in, and this is the surface. That you're going to get that's one of the sample sheets coming up the screen it happens a lot so if you can make a mistake all you got to do is come in you got something that falls onto your screen take your finger and just go over it that's all you got to do and that's it you know what i mean you're not going to damage your screen in any way because sometimes when you're painting um depending on what kind of uh roller you're using some are lint free some are not lint free i just picked these up at family dollar really fast um that's uh you'll get some of the lint will come off the um off the uh some of the lint will come off and it'll hit your screen now i'm just gonna pour a big spot right there look at this i'm just gonna pour it right down it's like just like that show you how easy this is to do it's not that hard all right easy i'm gonna paint my screen in This is the surface that will come with your screen. All right. 
There we go. Anything I have on my screen I don't like, all I gotta do is just take it, wipe it off, and I'm done. Now you see that paint there in the middle? All I do is just go right over top of it. That's it. Doesn't make a difference what direction I'm going. This is all I gotta do. This is how fast I can paint my screen in. And there are people that worry about, they go, oh man, you know, if I basically do that, I'll leave streak marks on my screen. My screen paint is streak free. So later, when this dries, because it won't take long, uh, we'll do the demonstration. I'll hang my screen back up and we'll do the demonstration uh, with the screen. Um, paint it and hang it up against the wall. See, look at that. Almost done already. Almost done already. This is how easy it is. Now, mind you, I'm right now, I'm painting a screen in that is better than a supernova. That's better than an elite screen. Better than a dapper screen. Better than the Seymour AV. This is what I'm painting for myself. I can come in here if I've got a few mistakes, got something on the screen I don't like. I can do this. I can do that while the paint's still wet. I can do this. You know what I mean? I can do this right here. Doesn't make a difference. I can do that. I don't have to worry about my screen because sometimes dust from the pipes will fall down and hit my screen. And I don't have to worry about that. If I see something I don't like, all I got to do is take my finger. Do like this, that's it. That's all I gotta do. And just go right back over it. Let's get the corner right there. All right? So now we just have this middle piece right here. And we're done. The surface is very easy to paint. Very easy to do. It requires one coat. If you want to go over two coats, hit it with two coats. The only reason why you would have to hit it with two coats, it's not going to change the performance on the screen. It's just basically if you miss any spots. So if you miss any spots on your screen, all you would have to do is just hit it the second time and you're done. That's it. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm just going over the screen and just making sure that I got everything. Here's my screen right there. That's what I'm doing. I'm just going back over the screen, hitting all the corners, making sure I got everything. That's it. That easy to do. That easy. I'm done. I'm done with my screen. Use any roller I want. It can be a nat roller. Whatever way you want to choose it, however way you want to design it, that you can hook. If I make a mistake, all I have to do is I can do this. Something I don't want or something drops on there. Roll right back over it. That's it. You don't have to worry about any streaks, anything. If you want to press heavy on the roller, if you want to do it this way or this way, you're going to do it around in circles. I don't know why you would do it that way. It makes no difference. Look how smooth the paint goes on. And you can apply it to any surface. In mind, the surface is going to come with your screen. You're going to have the ability to turn this into a high-performance projection screen in no time at all. So we're done. That's it. We're done. I'm going to leave the roller right there. I'm not worried about it. It's not going to take that long to dry. There's my screen right there. Finished and done. Let's go back upstairs. Look at the screen right here up on the wall. I think my sandwich sheet fell off. Let's see which one came off. Uh oh. I'm going to touch my screen because my hand's got paint on it. And uh, let's finish this out. Okay. Lights. Drop the lights in here. Sorry about that, guys. Let's pause the screen like that. Show you that even with the lights out, our screen is still more superior. I'm gonna come back. Let me see how much time I got on here, really quick. A little bit of time, but 
Then bring it back right there. Okay guys, before my time runs out, I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Edge Technology Projection Screens using smart technology. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video demonstration on how superior our screens are. Look at this, painted the screen in no time at all. Had plenty of time to come upstairs and finish the rest of the demonstration. That's how easy it is to paint our screens. Okay, do a demonstration, show you how high performance the screen is, outmatch the top 10, some of these top 10 screens on the market, go downstairs, paint the screen, come back upstairs, finish the demonstration. Lights out. You see the difference between our screen and their screen. Now just to add real quick with our kits, our one quart all the way up to our one gallon kits, you will get a set of free backlit neon lights, you will get the surface, you will get the drop cloth, the rollers, replacement rollers, frog paint tape and a can opener and free shipping anywhere you live in the world, we can ship it to you. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed this video demonstration. I'm Kenneth Burr from Crystal Witch Technology Screens. I'd like to thank you all for watching.